Hello everyone and welcome back to another Xanalyst video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get an anonymous mask card using Xano and Freedom Dollar as payment. So as you can see, I am using an iPhone here, but this also works on Android. So first of all, you're going to need to download a VPN and make sure you're connected to a USA VPN. Um, I have done this with Proton VPN. And uh, as you can see, I'm also in the Xano mobile app. And you're going to need to download this and sync, sync it fully. As you can see, mine is synced with the green dot up there. And then what you're going to need to do is go onto another browser. So I'm using Brave right here. Um, and then next, you're going to need to go to this URL, app.card.zbeck.io. And then you're going to need to go ahead and create an account here. So... The first step here is to enter your email address. And now if you don't want to use your own email address, you can use something called simple login. So you can basically receive and send anonymous emails. And the way it works is it basically just gives you a forwarding address and it all and it then forwards to your main email address. So I've already set one up. So I'm going to go ahead and use that now. As you can see, this is what a uh, simple login email address looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. Okay, next you're going to need to enter your region. So you're going to select USA enter your first and last name, then you're going to need to enter your phone number. So if you don't want to enter your phone number, you can use a service such as silent.link, which you can basically uh, rent an eSIM, which is um, no KYC, as you can see there. Or you can use a service such as SMS Man. And I'll link all these in the description of this video. Then click continue. Then you're going to need to put in a uh, USA address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then I'm going to go ahead and click submit here. And as you can see, my account has now been created. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the browser. And then I'm going to go back into my Xano app. Okay, now I need to select the wallet, which I want to top up the MasterCard with. And then I need to go to browser at the bottom right here. Then I need to type in the same URL. So that was app.card.zbeck.io. Then I need to click return here. It's going to load up the web page. And then I need to sign in with the account I just created there. Okay, as you can see, I am now connected inside Zbeck. Then what I need to do is link my Xano wallet. So I'm going to click this drop down up here, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see Xano there. Click that. Then I need to click connect wallet. I'm going to accept the sign request, enter my code. And as you can see, I have now connected and linked my wallet. So now I need to select the card type. So Silver is a single-use card, which is perfect for uh, a one-time purchase. And a carbon card is basically a reloadable card. So I can use it multiple times, which is perfect for like ongoing subscriptions or stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and select carbon card. The currency is going to be in uh, USD. And I'm going to select Freedom Dollar from the drop, drop down here. I'm going to select a $100 card here. And as you can see, there's a 0% swap fee, which is fantastic. Then I'm going to click Create Carbon Card here. I'm going to accept the transfer request. And as you can see, I have now got the card. So now what I need to do is check my email address, and then the details for the card will be there. Okay, as you can see, this is the email that I received from Zbeck. And uh, as you can see, it says, hello, John, your $100 payment is ready. So all I need to do is click this button here and it will take me to my card. So I click the link in my email and I'm now back in my browser app, not the Xano app. I don't need that anymore. So I'm now going to create a password for my card. Okay, as you can see, this is my profile here with my address, my phone number. Now I need to add a security question here. Okay, now I need to review and confirm my virtual reloadable card. So I'm just going to click confirm here. I then need to agree to the terms and service. Click agree there. As you can see, I've now received my card details here. And if I want to add it into Android or um, Apple Pay, it's very simple. I just need to enter these card, uh, these card details here. Then I need to verify the phone number via SMS to verify and activate this card for Apple Pay and Google Pay. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, please do leave a like on the video. Thank you very much and have a good day.